All right. Hello, everyone. Uh, so today, I believe it's today, um, Spike opened up their Video Game Award nominations. Now, this is basically one of the laughing stocks of television and video games is every single year we have the Spike VGAs. And every single year, it's a hit or miss. It's either an enjoyable show or it's a really bad, you know, embarrassing show. I didn't watch last year's because I believe I was... I was like away from home when it was running. So, but I did watch the year before and I did vote last year and I wanted to go ahead because it is that time of year. They just opened up the polls again. I wanted to vote and show you guys, uh, well, me voting like I did last time. All right. So if you want the website, you can go to www.spike.com slash VGX. All right. And you can vote yourself. Um, essentially, because there is no login system, you don't have to log in at all. Here, let, let's log in with Twitter because we can. Authorize my app. So stupid. All right. Oh my gosh. You know, screw you. Anyway, so let's vote here. All right. Let's start from the bottom. We're gonna go all the way through and uh, go through here. Right. So most anticipated is viewer voted, but let's start from the bottom. Best voice actress. We have Ashley Johnson as Ellie, Courtney Draper as Elizabeth or Camila Luddington as Lara Croft, and Ellen Page as jo Jody Holmes. All right. Hmm. This is interesting. If you can hear the music in the background, that's my PS4. It's turned on. <sighs> Ellen Page did a fantastic job in Beyond. She really did. And so did Camila Luddington. She, she did an amazing job. All these people did amazing jobs. Mmm, this is hard. This is really hard. <laughs> like, look, this is the first one I've already stuck. I really don't know because all of these women were perfect for the roles that they played. I really don't have a problem with either of them. Oh, um... Mmm, this is hard. I, I, oh my god, this is difficult, man. Uh, I am going to choose... Oh my god, I, I'm torn. I'm torn between Lark, um, Camila Lennington or Ellen Page right now. I'm really torn. You know what? I've seen some of the videos from uh, from the Tomb Raider, um, you know, developer diary of uh, Camilla, and she was sitting there like she was seriously like crying with her with tears, real tears, and everything as she was playing the role of Lara Croft. So I'm gonna choose her because I really do think that she did a phenomenal. All these women did a phenomenal job in the roles they played, but she really made you believe that, that Lara Croft was extremely vulnerable. She did an amazing job, and I hope she returns for another Lara Croft to do to, to continue the voice, because I really did like her. So, all right. Oh, share that Facebook. Oh, screw that. We're not doing that. All right. Best handheld game. Uh-oh. I didn't play any of these. I didn't play any of these at all. I, I, I really didn't. I, I don't... These are all 3DS. You know, Whatever. It's, it's Pokemon. Whatever. That's PlayStation game. All right, here we go. Grand Theft Auto V. See, I don't think that... I think it should be just exclusives. Like, I think it should be, like, God of War, The Last of Us, Beyond Two Souls. I, and I think it should just be exclusives. I don't want third-party PlayStation games in here. That Obviously, you're going to choose The Last of Us. Seriously, that, that is a PlayStation game. All these are just third-party. Why do they put third-party in here? Seriously. Best driving game. Hmm. Well, Forza 5 isn't even out yet. Need for Speed Rivals I didn't play. I really liked Grid 2, so all I can really choose based on this is Grid 2, which is actually a great racing game. Um, but it probably will... Yeah, you know, that's all I can choose. That's all I can faithfully choose. Best Independent Game. All right, so I never played any of these, but I did watch full playthroughs of Gone Home and The Stanley Parable um, from DSP. And I do have to say that I am really impressed with, you know, these two games. I didn't play these either, but I really liked Gone Home a lot. I thought um, 
this the story was really interesting. It was scary wandering around this empty house and you don't know what's happening. And it had a really, really cool twist. And really, I, I give a lot of credit to the guys who, I believe it's some of the, bio, the original Bioshock developers who wrote the story. I give a lot of credit to them because it's hard to write a story about um, a gay character these days because... You know, no, one, the whole the whole gay thing isn't really completely accepted in society yet. I'm, it's just stupid. But you really, th this game really delved into a more personal story um, with the character, and um, it it was just really really interesting. And I, I do applaud them for actually doing you know write, writing something so complex and so um, uh, it's so it's it's just so fragile, you know, to talk about that type of subject. So I'm going to choose Gone Home for that. Best Shooter. Battlefield 4, Bioshock, Infinite Call of Duty, Ghost of Metro. Ooh, that's hard. Probably not Battlefield 4. If I'm going to do the campaign, it's Metro Last Light versus Bioshock Infinite, which I have to give Bioshock Infinite because Bioshock Infinite really had an amazing campaign. I really enjoyed it. Even though I think uh, it, it, it went towards the, the, the shooting element a little bit too much. I, I would have rather had a beast or rival horror like the original Bioshock was, sort of. But I am going to choose this, because I loved Metro Last Life. I thought this was a phenomenal game. But um, I'm going to choose Bioshock Infinite for that one. Alright, best song in game. Ooh. ADHD, performed by Kendrick Lamar. Sleepwalk. Ooh, I love that song. Will the circle... Yeah, ooh, that's, that's an independent song. Hmm... This is a beautiful song, the the circle well, the circle being broken. Beautiful song. I never listened to this. I don't know which one they're talking about here, but I did I do really like the sleepwalking song, but it but I'm gonna give it to um to uh, Bioshock Infinite because it is an independent song and it's a really beautiful song and Troy Baker does a great job um, playing the guitar and uh, you know Courtney Draper does an excellent job singing. Right. Best voice actor. Oh I, ooh. <laughs> Troy Baker, Troy Baker, <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, and we have St Stephen Ogg as Trevor Phillips and Willem Dafoe as Nathan Dawkins. Hmm. You know, this is funny. Um, uh, Cliffy B wrote on Twitter, Troy Baker should have his own category. <laughs> it's so true. Look at this. It's, he has he has a, a fifty percent more chance to win than uh, than these two guys have. Wow. Trevor, this guy did an amazing job. Troy Baker did a... Oh my god, it's hard. I mean, I... Oh, see, the thing is, like, he really made that character come alive. And The Last of Us... You know what? No, I'm giving it I'm giving it to Stephen Ogg. I, I really... He really made Trevor feel alive without... He just really did an, an exceptional job with that. All right, this PC game. All right, more. Well, we got Battlefield 4, we have Gone Home. See, I don't... Why? Why Why is this here? I, I See, I already voted for you, so I really don't know, huh? Um, we have Stanley Parable, Gone Home, Battlefield 4, that that I know of, all right? I'm playing Battlefield 4 on... This game's, like, unplayable, first of all, so... <laughs> Gone Home or the Stanley Parable? I really enjoyed the Stanley Parable's dialogue and stuff. I thought that was a great, <laughs> great enjoyable game, um... I'm going to go ahead and choose that, because I chose Gone Home last time. Best Xbox game. Oh, look at this. More third party. Ooh, Brothers, The Tale of Two Sons was amazing. Grand Theft Auto V had the worst... Grand Theft Auto V for the Xbox 360 was the worst... The, the worser port. The graphics on that were really muddy compared to the PS3's version. Bioshock Infinite is, again, it's a third party game, but there were frame rate issues. Tomb Raider played and looked great on Xbox um, 360. Brothers of Tales of Sons, I really enjoyed this game. It, it's a really unique platform. I'm going to give it to them. It, it really is. It's a great game. Best fighting game. All right. Um, well, and Killer Instinct isn't even out yet as of this recording. Injustice Gods Among Us, I got for free thanks to uh, Warner Brothers. Um, Taken Revolutions, uh, I'm going to choose Injustice because I thought it had a great campaign. I really did. Best sports games. Uh, I don't play sports. If I had, if I was forced to play a sports game, I would choose NBA 2K14 because I played. I, I was. I my one of my 
One of the games I really loved back in the day was NBA 2K6. I used to play that, like, a lot back when I played sports games. So, all right, best, what is this? Studio of the Year. Oh. Ooh, so we got the guys who made, we got the guys who made, um, Gone Home, the guys who made Grand Theft Auto, The Last of Us, and Irrational Games. Oh, my God. Mmm, this is hard. We have Irrational Games, which created this gorgeous world. Gorgeous. This completely unique, gorgeous world. Fixed with with really mixed storytelling. Um, or, I'm sorry, not mixed, but really an emotional story uh, to go with it. Great character developments. And great AI, too. Like, I never... Elizabeth didn't have any problems when I was going around... Um, you know, shooting people and stuff. She she always helped and she always had ammo, which is pretty nice. We have The Last of Us with Naughty Dog, and they developed a brand new IP that, in a way, succeeded, um, or in a way, uh, kind of surpassed the level of quality I think of the Uncharted games kind of had. Really, but the AI in this game was, even though it was believable in the way that they were developed, there were issues with. Yeah, it's it's hard. AI is difficult. It really is. You know what? I'm gonna choose Rockstar. You have to choose Rockstar, and and here's the reason why. For them to pull off the Grand Theft Auto Five, being able to switch off through different characters in an open world, and the game looks that good and it handles that smoothly. I mean, seriously, this they they created a technological achievement. So I'm gonna choose Rockstar North. All right, best soundtrack. I love soundtrack. Ooh. The Last of Us soundtrack or Bowser Hugging Phoenix soundtrack. Grand Theft Auto Five has so many songs, um, but they're not original, meaning that you know they're they're, they're from other people. Um, I never I didn't play Nino Kuni. Last of Us or Bioshock Infinite. I have to say I'm gonna give it to Last of Us because I I have the soundtrack. I burned it to a CD because I got the collector's edition. I got it for free. And it's just an emotional, beautiful soundtrack. I, I forgot the name of the guy who composed it, but it's just gorgeous. Casual game. <laughs> Casual. Um, here, let's give EA some some credit. Best Nintendo game. Well, I don't really own a Nintendo Wii U. Rayman Legends was. <laughs> Uh, Pikmin three. If I had, if I it was, if I was forced to play one, what would I choose? That's actually first party. I'm not counting Rayman Legends. If I was forced to play one, I've heard great things about Pikmin three. I'm good. Yeah, let's choose Pikmin three. Best DLC. All right. Borderlands did no, screw Borderlands. Dishonored did a great. Oh, Far Cry three Blood Dragon. You have to. I'm sorry. You have to. This game was awesome. I mean, I'm not. I wasn't even born in the era that this game was sort of um, uh, in. Uh, what do you call it? Um, influenced by? No, there, there's a different word for that. Inspired by. But yeah, this Far Cry Three Blood Dragon was exceptional. I loved that game. It was just awesome. Best RPG. I don't really. These are all JRPGs. That's the problem. If I was forced to play one, what would I choose? Honestly, Pokemon. Because at least I used to play that. Best action adventure. Oh, Last of Us. That's more survival horror. I don't. They don't have survival horror. But why don't they add survival horror down here? Um, Grand Theft Auto V, Assassin's Creed Four, or Tomb Raider. I I haven't really played much of Assassin's Creed Four yet. Grand Theft Auto V was amazing, but I felt I felt like the I felt like the Last of Us had a better story. Then Grand Theft Auto, but Grand Theft Auto Five was more fun to play than The Last of Us. With Tomb Raider, um, which I enjoyed, I enjoyed a great. Like Crystal Dynamics did a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal job. Um, but it's going up against The Last of Us, which Tomb Raider didn't have a, enough of a good story. And Tomb Raider was, I, I want to say that I enjoyed myself. See, the Tomb Raider offered replay value more so than The Last of Us. Never. So I'm, I'm, gonna not, I'm not counting Assassin's Creed for Black Flag because I barely scratched the surface of that game. Uh, as far as a total experience goes, I have to say that I'm gonna give it the Last of Us. I am. As far as action adventure game, 
Game of the Year. Alright, okay. Why is this in here? It, it, why? I mean, sure, it must be a great game, but seriously, it's going up against these ginormous elephants. It's, it's like, uh, uh, why? Let's go, vote for me! <laughs> um, okay. I know I said Last of Us was the my, my number one pick for best game this generation, but as far as a complete product, because that's how Game of the Year should be weighed. It shouldn't be weighed by, oh, let's see how the campaign is, or which one I had more fun. It should be weighed as the complete product and the experience of that product. Bioshock Infinite had a great campaign, but it was just that. It was just a campaign. Grand Theft Auto V had a, a great campaign with a good story, uh, good graphics, great gameplay, and it has um, a ginormous, you know, huge open world multiplayer, which I haven't really touched on. I need to. I only played a little bit of it. The Last of Us has an amazing story, amazing graphics, and good gameplay, but I didn't really enjoy the multiplayer as much as I thought. Tomb Raider is has a good, good story. Um, Good graphics, or great graphics actually, and and good gameplay. So overall, I'm going to give it to Grand Theft Auto V. And the reason is because even though I said The Last of Us was my you know number one pick for the generation, best game this generation, Grand Theft Auto V in itself as a game offers more content than The Last of Us or any of these other games. And the content in in that is much more, just really worth the the price of admission. So. Let's give it to Grand Theft Auto V. And then last but not least, we have most anticipated game, which we'll give to... Well, we got Titanfall, which is... I mean, everyone says it's amazing, it's amazing. I said, but I'm sorry, um, it's... it's I, I don't... I look at it and I say, wow, that must be... I bet that's really fun. But I'm not like, this game's amazing, it's the best game ever. Destiny... Again, I, I'm not like so inc amazed by it. I don't know why South Park is on here. Um, I guess some people are looking forward to it. I never really watched the show. Um, Witcher 3, I beat The Witcher 2 um, just recently, and I'm really looking forward to Witcher 3. I'm, I guess I'm, out of all these games, I'm still looking forward to Watch Dogs the most. So, alright, I'm going to vote for Watch Dogs. And there we go. I, I just voted for my categories. Let me know if you agree or disagree with any of my choosings. I will, uh, you know, again, I'm getting the, the X-Bone, if you want to call it that, on Friday. Um... Another thing is that my friend actually contacted me who was supposed to get me Call of Duty Ghost for free, or he was going to try. Um, he said that he unfortunately couldn't give it to me for free, but because uh, thanks to YouTube and uh, my little partnership here with Machinima, I was able to just um, buy it off of the Microsoft store, and it, I essentially only had to pay like $20. I had, I had some leftover money on uh, PayPal, so I did buy Call of Duty Ghost for like 20 bucks. It's supposed to be shipping to my house, so I will be getting Call of Duty Ghost on the Xbox One. So when I do get the console this Friday, I'll have Force of Five, Rise of Rome, and Call of Duty Ghost to unbox them on with the day one edition of the console. Alright, so thanks guys for watching. I'm going to continue playing games and stuff, and I voted for this this amazing show. I don't, I don't even know when it airs. Oh, December 7th. Alright, so let me know what your picks are, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.